if you have an amine, like let's say this guy right here, you can alkylate that amine when you treat it with, let's say, a alkyl halide, like so. And when we take those species here, okay, and let's just say we have a little bit of excess of this, of the alkyl halide. What's going to happen is you're going to form a quaternary ammonium salt. Okay. So I don't want to show you the product quite yet. Let's go through the mechanism and see what happens. Okay, and that, then we'll get to the product here. So what we have here is an electrophilic carbon, and we have a nitrogen with a lone pair. Nitrogen atoms, or amines, I should say, are good nucleophiles. And so what happens is we're going to take this lone pair right there, and we're going to do a SN2-style reaction here. Looks like this marker is running out here. Okay, so what does that do for us? Well, here's our amine. And I'm going to expand out these hydrogens. But I formed a bond with this carbon and that carbon. Okay. So what do we have now? we have a positively charged amine. But we're going to have a lot of these amines in solution. So we're going to actually have another amine right here do a proton transfer. We'll do a proton transfer in which that amine comes in, grabs that proton, giving the electrons back. So we'll have this guy, a lone pair there, like that. And then we would have our protonated amine, like so. So is that our final product? One might assume that that's a correct product. Yes, that will be a product. But the issue is, it's not going to be the only product because you cannot stop this molecule right here from reacting with another molecule of the alkyl halide. And so what's going to happen is you're going to do this reaction again, this, these two steps right here, again, and you will generate this species. So those two ethyl groups are already there. We're going to have our hydrogen there. Oh, wait, I said we would uh, do the two steps here. So we would add like this, all right? And then we would have our lone pair still there. So is that going to be the last thing that it can do? Nope. It's going to do these two steps. And what are you going to get? Well, it will, well, let me rephrase that. Let's draw this last step out. Okay. So what's going to happen here is it's going to react SN2 style with another alkyl halide. So we'll take that lone pair. SN2, kick it off, and th then our final product is going to look like this. Positively charged right there. So that is our quaternary ammonium salt, and we call it a salt because what do we have floating around? We're going to have our bromide floating around. So when we evaporate off all the solvent, we're going to get this salt. What do we have if we have excess
alkyl halide, we can convert most, if not all, of our amine into the quaternary ammonium salt. Okay. If you do less, if you don't have excess, you're going to get a mixture of this species, that species, and that species. So this reaction, kind of like a crapshoot, really, if you wanted this species or that species, there are better ways of synthesizing this compound right here. Better ways of doing it. And we will talk about those in other videos. But you need to be aware that this is a thing, that you can alkylate amines, and you can alkylate ammonia, NH3. So if you take this amine right here and replace it with this, ammonia, you go through the same process.